What's going on YouTube? Taylor Prentice back here with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the Palace and CP Company collaboration that is set to drop this Friday, December 8th. So uh, this is the second Palace collaboration with CP Company. CP Company is uh, definitely a lot bigger in Europe. I feel like in America, a lot of people don't even know what it is. It is kind of similar to Stone Island, but you'll notice there's a lot of goggles and like sort of like military vibes to some of these pieces. I do think this is a really cool collaboration. I really enjoy CP Company's pieces. They are really expensive, but yeah, with all that being said, let's just go ahead and get right on into it. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, if you could hit that like and subscribe, it would help me out a lot. I cover all things Palace and Supreme. Supreme has the box logo dropping this week and also a collaboration with Black Means. So if you guys wanna go check out that drop list, make sure to go check out the video I dropped earlier today. And also, before we get into this video, uh, just bear with me. I'm going to be saying the goggle jacket or stuff like that a lot in this video because we don't have actual names of these pieces and I'm not familiar enough with CP Company to know the names of their like distinct pieces. But anyways, getting into it, the first item we have here is this goggle puffer jacket and I think this thing is just beautiful. So we only have this, color only have this coming in the blue colorway, which... I would have liked to have seen other colorways of this, but I really, really like this blue colorway. I like how it gets darker around the zippers. I think that was a nice touch. I also like the darker like lining material. I think that was nice. I think the goggles are also really cool. That is like CP Company's main touch. But yeah, overall, this was just a super sick jacket. The puffs here are super unique and interesting, and this is one of the craziest puffer jackets I've ever seen. Here we have a hoodie, uh, so this one's pretty standard. We do have some panels there on the sleeves, uh, just says CP Palace there on the chest. We've got the metal aglets on the strings. Um, so yeah, on the left sleeve we do have the, dude, someone told me what that's called one time and I can't think of the name of it, but that little goggle for lack of better term. Um, and we do have this hoodie coming in multiple colorways, so I'm just gonna go ahead and skip to those right now because things are kind of out of order in this list. Uh, so we do have this coming in a blue, a green. I think the green works really well here. We do have the different colored emblem on this one. So this has that like gradient orange, which I think pops really well. Whereas like on the blue one, we do have this gray one. Um, so that's a, another thing to keep in mind when you're looking at these pieces, but I do think that's it for the colorways of the hoodies. So just the black, the blue, and the green. So yeah, overall I thought the hoodies were pretty nice, uh, but as far as this collaboration goes, they were some of the like less interesting pieces in my opinion. Here we have this zip up like shell type of jacket. Again, we've got the goggles up top. We also have a mask like worked into the jacket. So gonna keep you super warm. These are definitely good jackets for the environment and like fighting off the climate. Again, we have the little emblem here on like the left cuff. We've got some big pockets. We have a couple different zippers here and we do have another pocket on the left side above that. So overall, I think this jacket just looks really, really clean. We've got the raglan sleeves. Yeah, super cool shell jacket. I think the orange one is cooler. Uh, just super like pop. It pops like crazy. I don't know what I was trying to say there. It super pops. Uh, but yeah, it just pops really well. Um, I love orange stuff and yeah, I think the orange and the gray work really well together. Then we have this crazy like see-through lined raincoat type of thing going on here. Um, as you guys can see here it is lined with a fleece or like even make maybe like a shirling material. It looks super nice, super, super cozy. And then on the outside, we just have that see-through resistant material. So you can wear this in rain. It's gonna keep you super warm. Uh, this is one of my favorite pieces. I love the branding on the fleece piece below. Uh, like just being able to see that through the outer material, I think is really nice. I really like the pockets and everything. And yeah, this piece, is just kind of like mind blowing. Here uh, we have what is just the inside of that jacket, I believe. So it is cool. Uh, it does look like it's detachable, which is a nice detail. But yeah, man, I love that jacket. Oh yeah, so here's the separated top piece as well. So super fire. I love both of these. Uh, it's super nice that you can wear them as separate jackets, but I would love to wear those together. Super, super cool. Uh, and then we have some quarter zips. So these are not really my style. These are that like classic look. These give me like super Stone Island vibes. Uh, we do have this like patch thing going on here over the quarter 
zip itself and i don't know if that's actually a zip or if it is button enclosure there or it might be like a velcro type of thing um i'm actually not sure what is going on there but i do i appreciate this piece it's just not really my style quarter zips are not really my thing but i do like the green one a little bit more i feel like it just has like a classier type of look to it and then we got some t-shirts so uh it's just the cp palace logo guy kind of thrown up like a triferg which is kind of funny these are all right. Uh, I don't know. A t-shirt is not really something I would be looking to get from this collaboration. But like, if you do just want something from this collaboration, these are definitely going to be the most realistic in terms of pricing. Here we have some cargo pants. Uh, these are okay. I like the fit of them. I don't. I don't love the stitching or just like flaps here. I'm not really sure what those are for. I think it was just for the aesthetic, but I actually don't really like the touch of them i do really like the pockets i like the emblem there looks like the material is a really nice nylon which all the materials in this collaboration should be very nice they're very high end going to be very expensive so the materials should be nice um so yeah i don't know these are so cool i would definitely rock those uh we do have multiple colorways of these as well so we've got the orange Oh, so maybe it was just the black and the orange. I thought we had a couple more, but yeah, I think the black ones are my favorite for the pants, but I do like the black coat. Uh, here we have some ear flap beanie or ear flap hats. So these are six panel hats. We've got the P logo. I can't really tell. It almost looks like that's like a suede. I'm not sure what that material is. The hat itself seems to be nylon. And then on the back, we've got the goggles. Uh, we do have this in a couple colorways as well and you can uh, button the flaps up as well so yeah pretty cool hat and then we have a brim beanie so i thought brim beanies like back in the day were like the coolest thing ever and then you can just uh also flip down the goggles so multiple applications for this hat i think that makes it pretty cool i do like the goggles too even if you're not like actually using them i think they just look cool here we have this puffer scarf. Puffer scarves are really cool, especially if you have it with that jacket. That would just go insane. But I don't really wear scarves, so, eh. but I really like the way this one looks. And then the last thing we have here is this bag. Has, uh, what is this kind of clasp called? Uh, it's like a roller coaster seat belt. Uh, I don't know, but a leak's got super big off of it for like no reason when you could buy those types of belts for like eight bucks online, but I respect it. Um, and then, yeah, just the CP Palace embroidered. Does look like it's just a nylon bag, so nothing too crazy here. I don't know, I feel like Palace has cooler bags, but overall, I thought this collaboration was pretty sick. If I had the money, I would buy a lot of these pieces. Like, for sure, this puffer, um, for sure, that, like, yeah, for sure, this orange shell jacket. And this is my favorite piece here this two, two, uh, two jackets in one or three jackets in one, I guess you could say, because you could wear it this way, that's one jacket. You could wear it this way, that's another jacket. And then this way would be your third jacket. So technically three jackets in one, I guess, if you want to go that route. But overall, yeah, this was a super solid collaboration. Going to be super expensive, but you know, that's just to be expected. It's like whenever Supreme collabs with Stone Island, it's like, you know, it's probably going to be pretty cool. It's going to be expensive. It is what it is. But that is going to be it for this week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching if you have made it to this point. And like I said, uh, make sure to go check out my Supreme video for this week if you guys have any interest in that. But we will see you next time. Have a good one.